The Singer Heavy Duty 4452 soy machine can use a twin needle or as sometimes called a double needle. So as you buy twin needles, you'll notice that there are two needles and one top. You'll also notice that there is a number that indicates how wide the needles are away from each other. So 2.0 means that those needles are two millimeters apart. This one here is four millimeters apart. So you can see that this would make a wider stitch. So where would you use a twin needle? You'll often find twin needles are on the edge of hems or your sleeves. So those two rows of stitches can be simulated with a twin needle. Now the back will look a little different than your store-bought clothing, but you can simulate that stitch. We're going to do it decoratively. So we'll be using it as either two rows of stitches. We can do two different colors of thread. Plus, we can also do it as pin tucks. So if you've ever seen pin tucks on a blouse, or we even do it decoratively as part of our Stitching Cosmos online course, and here pin tucks have been used for creating a texture of this particular fabric. So I wanna show you how you actually thread up for a twin needle, and then just a couple tips for selecting stitches. Now, if you're interested in what this is, this is a cute little tissue holder, actually. This is a pattern that we have available on our website. We'll put a link below. And we've also done a video, so we'll link right up here so you can go check it out. So even though this is all, it looks quite complex, there's only three seams to sew this whole thing together. If you choose to embellish the front or add a button, that that is totally optional for you. But if you're looking for a cute little gift for office workers or friends or for a reunion party, this is actually a fun, quick way to use up some fun scraps. So start by making sure your presser foot is up and reach for your vertical spool pin. This is gonna fit right back up here on the top side. I already have one thread in the machine and I'm gonna go ahead and just take another spool of thread and thread the machine right on top, kind of right over the top of the first thread. Next, I'm gonna take out my single needle that I have in the machine now and replace it with a 2.0 twin needle. So when I start, I'm gonna start with a straight stitch, but when I start to sew any of the decorative stitches, I'm gonna to need to make sure that I limit my width and always check by turning your hand wheel and making sure that the needles don't overstep the edge of your presser foot. Now, right here, we have two threads that need to go into two needles. I'm gonna separate them here. It doesn't matter which thread goes in which one, but we are going to need to thread it by hand. So your needle threader is lined up for center needle work. Uh, so this is not the place to use your built on or onboard needle threader. If you have trouble threading needles, there are needle threaders that you can purchase separately. And that's not a bad idea if you actually um, have a needle threader that's no longer working and you just want a quick fix for um, being able to easily thread your machine. So first off, straight stitch. I'm double checking all my settings and I'm gonna just stitch a row next to some of my decorative stitches. And again, if you wanna just make sure everything is threaded correctly, just do, do a couple stitches by hand and you can hear if your machine has any problems or if you didn't thread something correctly. Now, if you're gonna change stitches, make sure your needles are out of the fabric Fabric. That's a pretty common thing. But let's just make sure as we go to a zigzag that you can adjust the length, but keep in mind your width. So we are using a 2.0 twin needle. That's what I put in here. And your machine stitches a width of six. So six minus two means that four point or four is the maximum stitch width you can stitch on this machine. So again, I'm going to double check that my needle swing does not go outside the designated foot area. So just make sure that you always test 
if you feel go like going slow at the beginning until you get more confidence that you have uh, got everything cr threaded correctly, that's always a good idea. But you can see you're going to get a whole new look of stitches. So we talked about stitching out a stitch book and maybe changing the stitch width or length uh, for different variances. What about now going back and restitching all the stitches that are in this machine with a twin needle? Maybe do some decorative stitches to have some fun with with, but just double check the width and the swing before you stitch and try to come up with some fun decorative stitches and thread combinations. If you like working with a twin needle, definitely check out our 10 free videos below that are featuring our Stitching Cosmos online course where we can take your creativity and this machine to whole new levels.